So we're talking about dihedral angles, and I have here a model of ethylene glycol, which is two carbon atoms linked by a single bond, and the, each carbon is uh, also bonded to a hydroxyl group. And we can illustrate a, what we mean by dihedral angles by changing the rotation about that carbon-carbon bond. And you can see that the, there's an angle defined by the rotation required to bring this hydroxyl group uh, to the, the position of the other hydroxyl group. And we, we measure the angle starting with the, the, the group in front towards the rotation towards the, the group in the back. And this would, because this is a counterclockwise direction, uh, that would be a negative dihedral angle, approximately negative 60 degrees. And this is relatively favored um, because the two groups don't collide. A dihedral angle of zero uh, for th in this situation puts the two hydroxyl groups in, in eclipsed conformation. And, and we know from general chemistry that that's a high energy state or relatively unfavorable. And in this orientation, now we have a value of about positive 60 degrees for the dihedral angle, uh, the so-called gauche conformation. And that is energetically more favorable than the eclipsed, eclipsed value.